No matter how many curveballs destiny throws his way, he always manages to land on his feet. When he was a rising sports talent, the war put an end to his career, so he became a war hero. After the war, he didn't end up like Gil or like me. He became an elite athlete, a Hall of Fame football star. When an accident left him in a wheelchair, he went on to succeed in advertising. What if Tim Thorpe was somehow involved in Mitchell's operation? Mr. Black, Mr. Thorpe is running later than expected, but he insists on meeting you, if you don't mind. That's not in my job description, but... If I had her markings on my skin, would I be the same person? Would my name be different? is right, there should be a meeting with Mitchell noted somewhere in Thorpe's agenda. Has anything odd happened at the agency lately? Not on my shift. Perhaps the oddest thing I've seen is a bored detective asking a lot of questions. How long have you worked for Tim Thorpe? Almost three years. And I hope it lasts. Well, you see, I've got a problem. In order to figure out how much Mr. Thorpe owes me, I need to know what day I started working on the case. But I can't remember. You wouldn't have that written down, would you? It sure wasn't on my shift. I'd remember. Let me see.
What? Gunn was here two days before he died? Why didn't Thorpe ever mention that? I'm sorry, but your name's not on here. Wait, I just remembered something. The day I came, Joe Dunn had just walked out the door. Well, no. You don't have any appointments. Although, I guess I could have forgotten to write you in. Mr. Dunn, who's usually very kind, left in a flurry. He even slammed Mr. Thorpe's door. Okay. Now I know I have to get into Thorpe's office. And he didn't even say goodbye. Yes, that was the day. You don't recall me because the minute I saw Dunn stomp out, I followed him. I never actually came in. Of course. That explains it. No doubt. Hmm, so... Since it looks like Mr. Thorpe won't be here soon, I think I'll go take a walk down the hall. Gotta stay in shape. Come on, Thorpe. Tell me there's a back door to your office. If Weekly were here, I'd have to tie his hands behind his back. So, you had something to do with that chest expander after all. Should I play the Smirnoff trump card again? Smirnoff didn't know what to think. He asked me to watch out and call him as soon as I had more information. He also told me that Gil had finally talked. He denied having blocked the basement door and said the truck door opened, but he got knocked on the head as soon as he tried to get out. He then woke up when the police found him beside the basement door. Obviously, the same person who had jammed the door had
Cats aren't afraid of heights. That's why I've never felt vertigo. In my experience, when something looks really good, it ends up smelling really bad. It's a bit strange to see no office chair behind a desk until you remember the desk's owner is in a wheelchair. And one of the strengths, the accuracy of his throw. Uh, I earned the nickname Iron Arm. And about, uh, I used to throw the ball in 15 miles. Huh? And yeah, uh, went wherever it wanted. And my coach, the great Joffrey Sox. Mm -hmm. And so I worked hard. And I did, uh, Pearl Harbor. I enlisted immediately. Uh -huh. uh, after losing a partner in combat, uh, a serious injury, I asked to be relocated. I became a sniper. I know I shouldn't say this, but I was one of the best in the army. And it was all thanks to my accuracy. No, it was all thanks to Jeffrey Sachs. I wonder how many Americans that man saved with my arm. After these words, Tim Thorpe is moved almost to tears and asks me to take a break. It's shocking to see how an athlete and soldier, a man whose aim and skill won him a medal of honor and the nickname Surgeon among his brothers in arms. That can't be. I mean, it could be a coincidence, but no. Why am I surprised? In every investigation, there comes a point where every single lead seems to go down the drain. And you have to retrace your steps to get back on the right track. I better not use it. It might be connected to the switchboard at the front desk. That leads to the front desk. That's it. Thorpe is the man behind the whole drug operation.
What if Groon's dreads helped Thorpe walk? Of course, it wasn't Mitchell or Gil. It was Thorpe who shot Randall at the hospital. Everything adds up now. And yet I can already hear Smirnov telling me I have no conclusive evidence. What if I set a trap for Thorpe? But how? Ha! What if I place Thorpe's gun up there and corner him so that he has to stand up to get it? The show was about to begin. All I needed was an audience and some patience. You know who you're <laughs> dealing with, matey? What a silly man. Mutiny! You wants to be shark bait, do you? <laughs> oh, Black Sad. I feel terrible for keeping you waiting. John. Uh, but you see, there was mutiny on board, so... Uh, Stop! <laughs> uh, you see what I have to put up with? All right, Helmsman. To the cabin with you! Onward! <laughs> yeah, I can't. Come along, Black Sad. Julie, don't let anyone <laughs> bother us. Honey, will you wait in the boardroom for me, please? But... I'll just be a minute, then. I think you've already suffered enough. Okay. And think about where you'd like to have dinner tonight, okay? You see, I'm not gonna pay you for solving the case. Fair enough. The truth is, I didn't solve it. <laughs> No, it's not that. You'll get every penny we agreed on, and more. But not because you solved the case, but for her. Two days ago, she wanted to end it all. Drop out of college, sell the gym. Too many wounds to heal. But through your incredible work, you managed to heal them. Well, perhaps not completely. It takes time to get over something like this. But at least, thanks to you, Sonia wants to be happy. She has hope. I'm going to help her make Dunn's gym the best in the city. Who would have ever guessed it, huh? I'm happy for her. She's been through a lot, and honestly, I wasn't sure she'd make it. Well, she hasn't just yet, but she will in time. Anyway, back to the case. All those people you confronted. Gil, the German doctor, even Mitchell. <laughs> I would have never suspected him. Did they say anything? Why did they do it? Did they mention any accomplices? They did mention a certain surgeon. Surgeon? You have uh, any idea who that could be? I'm sure this comes as no surprise, but it was Angus Mitchell himself. In fact, you gave me the lead by telling me he was a doctor. Sure, yeah, sure. 
I'm glad I could help. Although, uh, uh, you see, besides my esteem for Joe and Sonia, this ordeal uh, really hits close to home. I don't follow. How do you mean? Sports are my livelihood. Do you know how many of the athletes involved have a deal with me? How do you know that? What? Oh wait, Sonia told you. Yes, that's it. Sonia told me. That's funny. I never told Sonia. Well then, do you know how many of the athletes involved have a deal with me? All of them? Luckily, no. But a lot. So far, the papers only talk about bodies down at the docks and an illegal lab. Not one has mentioned the athletes. But if one word gets out, this agency's future could be on the line. Not to mention Sonia's and the gym's. Could I ask you to be discreet? I will be. Don't worry. I knew I could count on you. Thank you. How much are we talking about? Twice the amount we agreed on. That seems fair enough. Anyway, that's it. Julie has your check. Don't forget to claim it. As for your bonus, I'll send it along soon. Don't worry about it. Thank you again, Black Sad. I don't know what state Sonya would be in if it weren't for you. I had to act, then and there, or let Thorpe get away with it. Excuse me for not standing. Hmm. Thank you for everything, Ironarm. Please, take good care of Sonya. Uh, I will. <laughs> Why did I do it? After all the evidence I'd gathered, why did I let a murderer like Thorpe get away with it? It's something I choose to keep to myself. Make of that what you will. <laughs> uh.